Hey, how's it going? Hello, hello, hello. It has been a minute since we have done our recipe of the day, but today's the day we are going to get back in here and do a recipe of the day because there was an amazing recipe that I wanted to test for Thanksgiving. And so I thought, well, shoot, what the heck? Let's test it together. So I have made a few uh, things ahead of time to make this go a little bit quicker. We are going to make a pumpkin spice pavlova with a pumpkin whipped cream filling and homemade brittle, so yum. And then some pumpkin coffee creamer, because what do you do when you need only one cup of your pumpkin? I'm using the Trader Joe's organic pumpkin here, and you only need one cup for your filling, what do you do? Well, of course you make pumpkin creamer homemade. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. And then of course I have an amazing apple cider margarita that is the, gonna be your holiday drink of the season. So let's get started. I'm gonna get started here with the pumpkin um, creamer. So in here I have a cup of half and half and a cup of just whole milk. Now the recipe calls for two cups of heavy cream. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> I just couldn't. And then we have about a quarter cup of the pumpkin is going in because I'm going to get this on the stove while we make our filling of this pavlova. Oh my goodness. It smells so good in here. So I have comments here. I can see your comments on my Facebook page. So if you want to uh, co uh, comment, jump in there. I don't know if Gary can see the comments on my Instagram. Maybe he can. So we're going the maple now, a quarter cup of maple syrup. So how is everyone doing? Can you believe that it is holiday season? Like Halloween is next week and then Thanksgiving right behind it. So I'm going to give you something good to make here. So that's a quarter cup of maple syrup. And then I'm going to do the pumpkin pie spice here. So we have... Uh, one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Ooh, yum. This is going to be so good. We were um, at our lake house in Oklahoma last week, a couple weeks ago, visiting our son and, uh, at college. And he, one of my friends there was you know, using that coffee creamer. I won't name with kind, but the kind where you don't know any of the ingredients that are in the coffee creamer. So I'm going to be gifting this <laughs> to that person for their holiday creamer. Um, cause I will never eat this much creamer in a week. So a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, a teaspoon of cinnamon going in and then a half a teaspoon of nutmeg and a little bit of vanilla. So let me get the nutmeg going here. How is everyone today on this beautiful day? It's gorgeous out. We haven't done one of these in a while. It took us a minute to get set up again. <laughs> cause you know, we did a hundred of these in 2020 a hundred live cooking shows. So here we are back again. So I'm going to put fancy measurement there for a teaspoon of vanilla. So that's our coffee creamer, pumpkin spice coffee creamer, homemade. And everything I put in here, you can pronounce. <laughs> so this should be delicious. But I'm going to whisk it all together and then put it on the stove and let it start to meld together while we make this filling for this pumpkin spice pavlova. Oh my goodness. You know, one of my signature dishes is a chocolate pavlova that I bring to parties and things that everybody loves. It is a crowd pleaser and it's gluten free. So it's yummy. And so, um, I saw this recipe and thought, Oh my goodness, I want to make that for Thanksgiving, but we need to try it first. So we're trying it right here. Okay, so I'm going to turn that on real low there and get that going. So that's our pumpkin spice coffee creamer. The next thing, here's the pavlova. I've made it already, the pumpkin spice. There's two of them. We're going to stack them like a cake here in a minute. Let's, let's make the filling. So I've already whipped the cream, so you guys didn't have to listen to the beater <laughs> while I made whipped cream. And those of you that know, know we only use real whipped cream in this house. So I've made it myself. So into our whipped cream, there's a cup of whipped cream here that I already whipped that uh, is what's in the bowl. I'm going to put in the cup of pumpkin. Yum, it smells so good. I haven't made anything with pumpkin yet, and it's already the third week of October. But here we go. There's the pumpkin. I'll get that started. Yummy. That's what else I'm putting in here putting the pumpkin and some cinnamon and some maple syrup. So another quarter cup maple syrup going into our filling. This is what's going to sweeten the whipped cream is the maple syrup. Yummy. And then a little bit of 
cinnamon, half a teaspoon. Okay, here we go. Cinnamon, what's your favorite holiday dessert? I'm about to introduce you to your new favorite one. This just looks amazing. Yummy. If I can see, there we go. Hey Rhonda, Kathy, oh my gosh. Sharon, how are you guys? Finally had to see your comments here. Hi guys. We are making something yummy. So hold on, let me whip this real quick. And I'll show you what that looks like. So this is the filling for our pumpkin spice pavlova. So let me take this down. Here we go. So I'll show you this. Yum! Oop, getting it everywhere. Okay, let's stir this together here. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so yummy. Okay, so I pre-made the pavlo pavlova just because, um, but I can definitely show you, I followed the um, directions on the, on the recipe just to make sure it would work that way because I don't usually do the pavlova in the, uh, the oven and leave it on and turn down the heat and all that, but I did do it that way. Um, because that's the recipe I'm going to post, my inspiration recipe. Shoot, my comments are going away. Hold on a second. Let me get you guys back. There you are. Okay, here we go. Now, I made two of these. You can see the rounds of the pavlova. It's just egg whites and sugar. Again, it's gluten-free for if you have family that you need to be conscious of. And I'm going to pick this one first. So it's just a big meringue. And we are going to put it down here, and then we're going to fill it. Yummy. This looks so good. So here we go. This is whipped cream and a cup of pumpkin and some cinnamon and a little bit of vanilla is going in here. Oh, my gosh. This my meringue wants to dance around here. Now, do you have any comments on Instagram over there? Anyone Instagrammy? comments oh my gosh you guys seriously like yum I don't know if I'll make this stacked for Thanksgiving or I'll make one big round one but this is our test recipe testing as a team here so here we go now here's our second pavlova here and I made the homemade brittle too we're gonna put on top so I'll show you that here in a second so there's the second one oh my goodness Yummy. Here we go. The rest of our cream. Oh my gosh. How good does this look? And one of the things I love about pavlovas is they're easy and they are very impressive. If you bring them to a party, everybody loves them. So let's get all the rest of our cream on here. Yummy. And then Get that all spread out. Oh my gosh. This looks so good. Really delicious. And then I'll show you. The brittle took literally like 10 minutes to make the brittle homemade. And it's yummy. Gary and I were taste testing that. It's delish. Okay, so there's our pavlova. And the Pavlova is pumpkin spice, and then the filling here is whipped cream and pumpkin. And then let me show you, move this out of the way for a sec while I show you this brittle. Oh my gosh. So I made the brittle homemade. I left it whole so you could see it. So I made the brittle in a pan on the stove and then spread it here in the cookie sheet on the foil just to make it for easy cleanup. And uh, I'm going to, yes, Kathy, it's a meringue. So the pavlova is basically a big meringue. I know, seal, doesn't it look good? Oh my gosh, I saw this recipe and we're going to our dear friends for Thanksgiving and I'm like, well shoot, what do you want me to bring? And then I sent her this recipe and I said, I'm bringing this. And I thought I need to recipe test it before. So here we are, we are recipe testing it together. Go team. So here's the brittle, look at that, yum. This is pecans, and the recipe called for sunflower seeds. I'm not a sunflower seed lover. Mm. Delish. So I um, used uh, pecans, and then I put in a, like a handful of these raw sliced almonds, because number one, it's what I had. 
Number two, it's what I like. So threw that in. So let's chop up this topping for our pavlova. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, tell me this recipe doesn't look as yummy as I saw when I read it. I read it, I'm like, oh, that's a definite, something new besides pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving or Christmas, but the pumpkin spice, good for Thanksgiving. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Yummy. Oh my gosh. Hey Susan, I'm recipe testing. <laughs> Look familiar? This is who I sent it to. Okay, this just looks amazing. So I don't want it to be too chopped up because I want it, my beautiful brittle to show. So now we're just gonna decorate this. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys, seriously, like how great does this look? <laughs> the directions in the recipe say, oh, if you have any extra brittle, put it in a bowl so your guests can snack. Well, they're in luck because we have some left. Okay, so that is our pumpkin spice, pumpkin filled pavlova. Yum, huh? Check that baby out. And you know, because it's the holidays and it's recipe of the day, we need to, don't I have a bad piece there? There, how's that? Looks good, huh? I know, yum. Of course I'm gonna make a cocktail. And I did road test these before I'm making them for you guys. Keep that in, in the frame so you can see how beautiful that, that is. But let me brew or remove our snacking br uh, br uh, brittle. It is delicious, and it literally took 10 minutes to make it. So that was easy. So let me get right to the cocktail here. I am making an apple cider margarita, and they are killer. So you want something new for your holiday parties, this is it. You all know I love a jalapeno margarita. It's my favorite. Um, but this is what we're, ma we're making today. So... Tequila, oh, you guys know I use my fancy dancy measuring cup is my shot glass, which was right here a second ago. Here we go, one ounce measuring cup because that's just how I make sure it doesn't get too crazy. So here's my pretty glass. I'm going to put it in. So I have, I made some cinnamon, sugar, and uh, Malden sea salt to dress the glass with. So we have cinnamon and sugar and then some coarse salt to decorate our glass here. Let me go and get some to stick, get some of the salt to stick. Yum. How many of you love a margarita like I do? Okay, fancy glass, dressed. Now, make our drink. We're gonna do two shots of tequila. Get the top off our tequila here. Whatever your favorite. I like the silver, this is fancy silver. So we're going in two shots here. I have a friend said she wanted to come over and drink the cocktails this afternoon. So come on over. I'm almost ready with the cocktails. Let's see, my comments keep going away. Don't hey, Sue. Hey, Deb, how are you? We are having recipe testing together today. One ounce of Cointreau. This isn't exactly what the recipe was, but I will post it. I'm making it the way I, li I like it because I like and then I have fresh lime juice here. I squeezed half a lime. I'm going to put um, an ounce of that in. And then we have our apple cider that I didn't get out. Hold on a second. Get the apple cider. Which I forgot to get out. And I'm using the Trader Joe's, you know, the yummy spice cider that they have during the season. Hey, Gabby, what's happening? Making a cocktail. We're gonna put, I'm gonna put four of these in. I'm gonna put three so it fits in my glass. I can see my glass is gonna be overflowing here. And then, if that's it, make sure I got everything. Cointreau, lime, oh, a little bit of maple syrup, just a splash. Get the maple syrup out. We're putting it in everything today, and I think that's it. Got my pretty glass with our cinnamon, sugar, and salt. And we will shake that up. Who wants to come over for an apple cider margarita? They are delicious, delicious. We brought these to a party a couple weeks ago to road test them. And 10 thumbs up on these. 
Hey, Jill, how are you? Okay, yum. I like ice in my margarita. If I get the top off, I'll just put the whole thing in my glass here. I hear my coffee creamer back there get, uh, getting hot. So let me see. Hold on, get the lid off my shaker. Hold on, stand by. Okay, there we go. Apple cider margarita, so they're ready. Now I do have an apple, I'm not gonna slice here, but I did get one ready to slice for my, for my garnish because I moved my cutting board. Hold on a second. I will slice off a piece of this for my garnish. And I was going to dip it in the cinnamon sugar. So I'm gonna float that, let's see. Put a little cut in there. I'll put it right on the side here. I'll put the sugar side towards you. Oh, whoops. There we go. Apple cider margarita. So here we are. Cheers. Welcome back. Recipe of the day. Fall pumpkin spice edition. Mmm. Cheers. Oh, that is so delicious. And wishing you a wonderful holiday season. If you have anything you want me to make, just let me know. I've been getting several requests is why I'm here making this beautiful holiday pavlova that is easy. Has a couple steps, but you saw I assembled it in like three minutes once all the pieces were ready. So thanks for watching. We love seeing you. Um, we just shot a new listing this morning and it'll be coming online uh, later in the week. So you know where to find us, GaryandLisa.com, your real estate edge. Thanks for watching.